All right, well, I heard today's Squirtle was interesting. I already did the other type of Squirtle with the two E's, and the Squirtle with one E apparently was interesting as well, so I'm gonna take a look at that. If you're not familiar with Squirtle, this is like Wordle on a grid. We're guessing a row and a column at the same time, then we'll move to the next row and column. This 10 is how many guesses we have left, and when we complete a word, we will get a bonus guess. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start with store. That's my normal Squirtle starting word. Um, there is an O in the row here, but not in the column. We don't have much. Let's go, I'm gonna do this, let's do store punch and daily. That's my three word start if I'm doing speed runs. Ooh, okay, we got the A here. Now, we've done that. Let's look up here at the beginning. We've got T, P, and D, which is interesting. And the T and the P and the D cannot be first. Okay, and there can't be an E or an O in that first row either. So the vowel could be A, I, or U. There is no Y in the grid. So, uh, what would that be? A adept? No. Oh, we can't do, oh. Um, adept or adopt is what I'm thinking of initially, but we can't have an E or an O, otherwise that would be really good. I like PT as an ending there. But. Adapt, adapt with two A's. There we go, adapt would work. Okay, that'd be good, adapt. If this starts with A, we need to have an R. That's about all we have. There's a U. One of these two could be T, U, uh, T, H is really good. Here, we need an H, an I, and an E. So that's that's really good. We can't do the I there. We could do E, I, R. That's possible. There. That would put a U over here. A, U isn't too bad. Um, that makes me think like auger. We could do a double R down here. That would be fine. Uh, what else do we know? We need a C and an I in this column. The I can't be third. Could be A, I? Um, could it be something I see? It's not... Uh, that seems res that seems reasonable, but I'm not sure what it would be. We need to have an O in this middle row, but it can't be third. G-O seems okay. Uh, could this be attic? No, it can't be attic, because there's no T second. What about antic? Do we know anything? Oh, there's no N. Yeah, yeah I'm not really liking the IC thing. Um, what about A-C-I? What about something like that? G-O-I isn't great, though, with the E. This makes me think, like, gorge or gouge or... Can't be goose, we can't have another O. What if that was an R? Ooh, uh, acrid, acrid. That was the Wordle word just the other day, and we could do gorge and radar. Okay, that's what I'm going with for right now. Um question is, should we do the row or the column? Doesn't really matter, I don't think. We do have one letter in one of the rows already, uh, but ultimately we're gonna have to do, I mean, the D and the U, so we're gonna have to do the row and the column, so yeah. So let's just do adapt. Adapt, um, and then, again, it doesn't really matter too much. We'll do gorge. Yep, these are gonna be right, aren't they? Okay. And then, uh, if we do, oh shoot, because auger and acrid and there will get all the letters except the A. So, but we could just do there, yeah. Let's do there now. And then auger. And, oh, was that wrong? Oh, it's not. Oh, because there's no E. Oh, that was stupid. I knew there was no E. It's auger with an A? Is that right? Is that a thing? What's the... Or a U? 
A or U? What? I thought auger had an ER, which it's, it's accepted it as a word. All right, well, let's just do acrid. And then might as well just do radar, get the A. And then is it A or U? Um, let's try, let's try A. I don't know. I don't know what this word, okay. U R. Oh, okay. How is that different than, let's see. All right, an auger, A-U-G-U-R, is, oh, it's a verb. It means to portend a good or bad outcome. The end of the Cold War seemed to auger well. Okay, very interesting. I don't think I knew that that was a different spelling than an auger like that you use to dig holes in the ground. So there you go. Learn something new every day. All right, so adapt, gorge, radar, auger, acrid, and there. There you go. Uh, we had five guesses remaining, so that's pretty good. All right, well, let me know how you did with this Squirtle today, and if you knew the other spelling of auger and that that was different than the other kind of auger, and uh, which, which word you had the hardest time with today. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. We'll pick a random available seat. Why? Who knows? That's just the kind of thing hypothetical passengers do. Um, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Wow! No way! <laughs> yeah, I mean, either a part or short could be right, or neither of them could be right, who knows? I mean, 20 times 11 is 220, then we would need to add 53, 40 plus 13 is 53. There we go, 11 times 20, 220.